Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from the newly pimped out bio research facility in this Let's Play Minecraft Feed the Beast series. In the previous episode, we were setting up this facility, which is going to eventually generate for us crops that can produce iron, which of course is exactly what we need to fulfill our goal of building the Ren Star. And in this episode, guys, we are going to be working on a machine called a Cropmatron, which is going to automatically look after our crops for us. So sit back and relax, my cyber diggity dogs. It is time to get cropinating up in here, man. So guys, as you can see, I have pimped out the bio research facility by adding a bunch of um, covers and, and these strips over here to make each of these uh, research pods look absolutely awesome. If you guys want to watch the footage of me pimping this place out, go check dog mail number 20. There's a link in the description box below. You can watch me uh, build this research facility as well as read some awesome emails from um, from cyberdogs all over the world. But guys, in this episode, like I said, we are going to get to a point where we don't have to worry about our crops. Once we've planted our crops in these research pods over here, we need to make sure that they are constantly fertilized and we need to make sure that they, that they have a constant supply of weed eggs, which is uh, basically a spray that stops weeds growing. Here you can see, these are actually not crops, guys. These are weeds and weeds are bad times for croppage. Basically, if weeds start growing in your crops they will destroy them and you will lose all of the cross breeding and and cross genetic splicing work that you do so we need to make a machine that is automatically going to do that and that machine is called a cropmatron and it looks a little something like this a really really easy recipe just electronic circuits a chest a machine block and some crop sticks i've got all of that in my inventory and what we're going to need to do is connect the cropmatron to our power source so uh, via a low voltage transformer and glass fiber cables but before we can even install the Cropmatron, guys, we need to make sure that we have a butt ton of fertilizer and a butt ton of weed eggs, which is, are the two items that you need to automatically keep your crops uh, happy. So once we've got our Cropmatron set up, once we've got our fertilizer produced and our weed eggs produced, we can then start planting crops in these research pods and start crossbreeding them with the goal to eventually make ferru crops, which will make for us tiny piles of iron and we can turn those piles of iron into iron ingots. So dudes, the first thing we need to do in this episode is make some fertilizer. Now, I know that I've said on many occasions in this um, series what the jazz is appetite good for. And uh, I always thought that appetite, which is this thing over here, is good for absolutely nothing. But actually, appetite is what we need to make fertilizer. So it's actually a very important material. And we've got 17 stacks of this jazz, which is awesome. And uh, we're going to collect some of that now and head over to the machine room. Because the way that you make fertilizer is by macerating appetite so so suddenly appetite has become extremely important and not just some random useless uh, item in feed the beast so let's have a look at uh, fertilizer which is this jazz over here and as you can see all we need to do is either pulverize fert um, appetite or macerate appetite so macerating appetite is the the, the most um, efficient way to do this i think although pulverize pulverizing it gives us the chance to get phosphor dust, which is pretty sweet. Um, and this doesn't give us anything. So maybe what we should do is just pulverize this, this business, man. Um, our macerator is busy macerating ores and whatnot, so we won't interrupt that process. And we can get some phosphorus dust. No idea what that's used for. But um, let's start pulverizing some of this appetite. Man, that goes really, really quickly, which is awesome. And we need to pick up this fertilizer because what I want to do in this episode, guys, is set up some barrels in the bio research facility um, so that that fertilizer that we are pulverizing is going to automatically come into the barrel over here. I think I'm going to put the barrel over here so that um, this barrel will get filled up, full, full, full of fertilizer that we create in the pulverizer and we don't have to go to the storage rooms to refill our cropmatron. Um, what you basically do with the cropmatron is you put fertilizer and you put weed eggs bottles into the cropmatron and then um, the cropmatron uses th that fertilizer and that weed eggs to look after your crops. So I think the first thing that we need to do guys in today's episode is install the fertilizer barrel here in the research facility. So what we're going to need to do is run a pneumatic pipe um, behind and over the the barrel because remember guys items need to come into the back of barrels I'm um, sorry into the top of barrels for them to get filled so let's install 
the fertilizer barrels over over here like so and the pneumatic pipes are going to run above them like that so let's install the pneumatic pipes for these fertilizer barrels now and then this pneumatic pipe will run back like this i think and then down behind the chests like this into the cyber labs maintenance level so that it'll probably run underneath like that let's just run the pneumatic pipe now in fact let's let's install the pneumatic pipe now actually oh no that's not going to work because it's connecting up to the chests so in fact we need to make we need to run the pneumatic pipe one more block this way oh the quarry has been exposed um so let's get this pneumatic pipe run down in this direction sweet and then I think what we need to do is probably go down into the cyber labs maintenance level. This is going to go behind the manual insertion chest over here, I think. Let's just get that pneumatic pipe running. Fire! No, 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 no. That's wrong. That's connected to a chest. And I mean, we could just run the, you know, run the pipe straight down into the research facility. But I want to try to keep this place as neat as possible. As much, uh, you, you know, if I can hide pipes, I will. Like, that, that's sort of the, um, the philosophy that I'm going with in this series. If we can hide the shame of the pipes and the work that we're doing in the cyber labs, then we will do it. And um, I think what we need to do now, though, is come out of the wall and then... I think what would I mean we closed this up last time because we didn't need it any, anymore but it looks like we're going to need this pneumatic pipe line over here so let's rerun this pneumatic pipeline all the way parallel to the, the glass fiber cable so that it looks nice and neat this needs to come off let's run this all the way to the back wall and then we can connect it up to our fertilizer barrels and then we can put fertilizer into those barrels and uh, then all of the fertilizer that the pulverizer is making will automatically go into um, those fertilizer barrels. So we're going to need to run the pneumatic pipe underneath the golden transport pipe over here and then connect up to the pneumatic pipe system which is running over there. Okay, sweet. Plan is coming together. Nice. Okay, let's get this pneumatic pipe run along like this and up. And there we go. And now we can replace this marble brick over there. Okay, that's looking nice and neat. I like it. I like it. Let's cover the shame. And you... Okay, well, you can kind of see what's going on back there. So let's cover that, that up. Can we? Can we cover it up? I kind of want to change the location of this manual um, insertion chest or so. I kind of want to put it upstairs somewhere. I don't know. It's kind of awkward down here, you know. Maybe at the entrance. Maybe in the entrance lobby or something. Okay, so now we can't see that, that pneumatic pipe anymore. So now what we can do is install the barrels here in the bio-research facility. And then um, fill them with... Let's just collect that. And then fill them with fertilizer. Which will make them into fertilizer barrels. Like so... Fertilizer. Fertilizer and fertilizer. Sweet. Okay, so fertilizer should be coming from the pulverizer now into these uh, barrels eventually. Well, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Um, let's just cover the shame over here. And reinstall our marble brick wall. There we go. You can see ah, oh, you can see the, the, the pipe in the back there though, which is which is annoying. But I don't think that's I don't think that's too bad. I think what we could probably do actually is um, put marble behind this pneumatic pipe. Oh God, the weather started. Thunderstorm has begun. So if we put marble like that and marble like this, then I think that'll probably look fine. Yeah, that looks good. Looking good. Oh. Actually, you can still sort of see, you can still see the dirt there though, right? 
OCD kicking in. Oh god. This thunder. This thunder. Ridiculous thunder. Let's just get a, a few more iron. Um, sorry, a few more marble blocks. So that we can cover that shame. See, if we don't do it now, then OCD will forever remain. And I will get uh, about a thousand comments from you guys saying, You butthole! There's dirt behind the chests in the bio research facility. I know you guys really well, man. <laughs> okay, there we go. I can still see dirt, though. I can still see the dirt. Still see this dirt. All of this dirt I can still see. Just change this all to marble. Nope. And this one. There we go. That should do the trick. There we go. No dirt visible. Sweet. Okay, so, um, hmm. These should be getting filled with fertilizer, unless the pulverizer, uh, pulverizer worked really, really quickly. Let's go check. And let's just make sure that the pulverizer is, in fact, um, sending items into... Um... Oh, well, that explains it. <laughs> the pulverizer isn't actually connected to the, the, the golden transport pipe network. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to have to do some rewiring over here, it seems. It looks like this glass fiber cable is in the wrong place. Because that's where the, the wooden transport pipe will need to go. So let's move that up one block like, like this. And... This, what is this redstone engine actually powering? What is this machine down here? An induction smelter. But the induction smelter, I'm, I'm sure the induction smelter is connected. Alright, well, it's going to be disconnected now. And let's get the pulverizer connected up to the, the transport system. So the redstone engine, let's go get ourselves some wooden transport pipes to do this. Man, what's wrong with my portal? Oh, I moved the portal, by the way, guys, from the uh, the bio research facility to the portal room. Um, makes kind of sense that the portal is in the portal room, right? A wooden transport pipe. That's what we need. And we also need golden transport pipe. We need iron transport pipe also. Iron transport pipe. And golden transport pipe. Do we have a golden transport pipe? Conductive pipe, waterproof pipe, cobblestone pipe. Oh well, we'll just have to use cobblestone pipe for now, I think. Unless, I think, no, I think uh, golden transport pipes over here, actually. Yeah, there they are. Um, where are they? Here we go. Get that back in the barrel. Okay, sweet. So let's get this pulverizer connected up to the transport slash sorting system. Um, let's install the wooden transport pipe first. Kaplam! And the iron transport pipe is going to have to go over here, I believe. Ooh, was that a diamond? What in the jazz? Did I just intercept a diamond from the quarry? <laughs> that was awesome! Interception! All right, and let's get that installed like that. Yeah, that looks good. And now we can, now all we have to do is turn around this redstone engine, like so. And that should start sucking out the fertilizer. Yes, no? Um, hello? Oh, so we have to set the exit pipe, I think. Like that? No. Exit pipe! Start sucking! Okay, there we go. Fertilizer is being extracted. I don't think it's going to extract the phosphorus dust, though. But that's okay. We can just manually pick that up. Okay, cool. So, the, the fertilizer is now being extracted from the pulverizer, which is sweet. And... What the jazz? I think we need to turn this thing around again. 
Hmm. Turn around, butthole! Okay, well, well, we'll leave it for now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but I will fix the way that looks. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's got its butthole facing us, and um, I much prefer to see its other side, which is much more interesting. Turn around! Alright, well, for some reason, that thing doesn't want to turn around. Let's have a look. Can we change the way that it looks in uh, this thing? Hmm. Is that still sucking out? Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't want to get too distracted by that. Let's go make sure that uh, this fertilizer is landing in the bio-research facility. Let's have a look. Yeah, there it is. Fertilizer is arriving in the barrels. Awesome. Now we don't have to worry about fertilizer. All we have to do is uh, worry about keeping this pulverizer full of appetite. Because um, it's got an appetite for... Appetite. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was a terrible joke. Okay, so next up, dudes, we need to make the crop matron, which is a machine that's going to automatically look after our crops for us. So let's have a look at the recipe. Get that into the project table, and we need our electronic circuits, our chest, our machine block, and our five crops. That makes for us a crop matron. Nice. Now, let's get this installed in the bio-research facility, um, and then I can show you guys what it looks like. It looks really sweet, by the way. It looks really sweet. All right, so we're going to install the Cropmatron above ground, I think, so it's kind of like a table. It looks kind of cool in the middle here, I think, also. Um, and now we need to get down to the Cyber Labs maintenance level and r install uh, an, an low-voltage transformer, or we will blow up the <laughs> we will blow up the bio research facility so there is the low voltage transformer installed and now what we need to do is run a line of glass fiber cabling from the crop to this power line that is currently connected to the battery room and our crop should now be connected let's go check Sweet, there we go, we can see the, the power going over there. So next up guys, we need to actually put the materials or put the items that the Cropmatron needs to work in here. It needs fertilizer, which goes in this row. It needs water cells or hydration cells, which goes in this one. And it needs weed eggs, which goes in this one. Now currently we're only uh, producing fertilizer. We don't have the other materials. So let's have a look at the other materials that we need or the other items that we need to make the, the Cropmatron work. We need this thing called a hydration cell. And I think we've got quite a few uh, hydration cells. Extractor. Hmm? Hydration cell? Can we put water cells in the Cropmatron? Because I know we have a butt ton of those. But uh, okay, we'll work on the hydration cells later. The, 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 the most important thing that we need to make is weed eggs. And uh, if we have a look at the recipe for weed eggs, um, we need redstone, which we've got. We need grin, grin powder, which we don't got. And we need an empty cell. Now, um, grin powder is quite easy to make. All we need to do is macerate spider eyes. The problem is that we don't actually have that many spider eyes. Uh, I know it's kind of weird to say that you know, in this series, we don't have a ton of spider eyes, but to be honest, we've spent most of this series um, crafting and we haven't actually done a lot of exploring so uh, and killing. So we haven't managed to accumulate a, a ton of spider eyes. Um, the quarry has been killing a few spiders for us and collecting the eyeballs for us, but we actually need to go on some sort of a spider hunting mission or we need to, I don't know, uh, maybe make a spider spawner or something like that. Let's just... Uh, clear out the macerator and get these spider eyes going though so we can make as much of that grin powder as possible macerate those eyeballs and let's get these ores back into the hopper and the pulverizer is still pulverizing away sweet phosphor dust in the belly and this should make grin powder right let's have a look yeah, grin powder. Okay, sweet. So that is doing its business. That grin powder is going to end up in the overflow chest, though, because we don't have a barrel for it. Um, but that is that is basically what we need to make the Crocmatron work. We need fertilizer, we need hydration cells, and we need weed eggs. Now, hydration cells are 
uh, we need an extractor to make hydration cells. Do we actually, do we have an extractor? I don't think so. Extractor. Oh, this, oh, right. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy to make. Electronic circuit, tree tap, machine block. And that makes an extractor for hydration cells. We might actually have a few hydration cells from the, uh, the, the, the recycling facility. Let's have a look. Got water cells, hydrogen cells, empty cells, compressed air cells. Nope. We do need these water cells though, right? Because we need to make this extractor and then uh, extract the freaking... I, I, I don't understand what's going on here, man. We need to extract water from a water cell to make a hydration cell. <laughs> uh, that doesn't quite make any sense to me. But guys, um, I think I'm going to actually do that off camera. I'm going to sort out all of that jazz um, get all of our weed eggs made, get all of the hydration cells produced. Uh, we've already got our fertilizer produced so that in the next episode, we can actually start planting our crops and cross breeding them. We can't plant crops yet until that we've got the crop matron running or else we're going to have a serious weed problem and we're not going to be able to successfully cross breed crops into fairy crops to make ourselves some iron. But I'm really happy what we've achieved today. We've made the crop matron. We have uh, connected some barrels up to our, um, our pulverizer in the machine room and we are now generating butt tons of fertilizer which is what we're going to need to make this bio research facility tick over at full freaking blast guys in the next episode we are going to be working on the crop analyzer as well as planting and crossbreeding our very first crops right here in the bio research facility and it is going to be sweet my friends well if you have enjoyed this episode guys you know what to do man you hit that freaking like button and if you got any advice for me on the crossbreeding of crops and uh, any, any hints or tips basically to make this process more efficient or to make this process better let me know in the comment section below almost choked to death guys this has been Rendog playing Minecraft feed the beast I will see you in the next video my friends goodbye